Welcome back to Good Day Sacramento. Hanging out in Old Sacramento for the finals of the world's uh, strongest man competition. This is really day one, guys, of a two uh, of a two day final. This is Evan. Evan, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, How are you? Good. Now this is really cool because Tina and Jordan, you guys both were working uh, this past week when we were here. I think it was Thursday that we were here. A lot has happened. It went from 25 competitors and it dwindled down to just 10, and that's what we're witnessing here today. Now, Evan, you competed uh, last year, but you also competed this year. However, you could not complete the competition because of. Yeah, I didn't qualify for the finals. I had a little bit of a stomach bug that really affected my performance this year. So it is what it is. It's one of those things that you just kind of roll with and yeah. hope for the best next year. Now, the good news is you're with me now, though. Otherwise, we would not be doing an interview together. Now, you're a former WWE star. You competed or you wrestled for how many years before jumping into this level of a competition? Uh, I, t I did about three years of wrestling, and then I took a little bit of a hiatus, and then I jumped into bodybuilding and then found my way here through bodybuilding. So guys, uh, the competition just got underway. You can see the spectators. We cannot show you the actual competition, but we're talking 100 fans out here witnessing what is happening. And if you want to see all of this, you can see it on July 3rd, which will be on CBS and CBS Sports Network. Uh, but let's go ahead and show video of them warming up earlier this morning. We were able to catch this just before the competition right now. When you're walking into a big event like this, uh, how do you even warm up? Like, what, what do you do on a morning like this? A big point of everything that you're trying to do as an athlete is visualization. So for me, I constantly over, over, and over in my, again in my head, I am constantly picturing myself just speeding through this course with the maximum amount of weight. Wow, this is so cool. So let's go ahead and jump now to video of earlier in the week of the competition, just kind of give you an idea of what it's going to look like here today. Um, Evan, what are they getting ready to do now? This is going to be the yoke and frame medley. We have a thousand pound yoke that we're going to put across our shoulders, stand up. We're going to walk 50 feet with it. Then we're going to drop it. We're going to immediately, without any rest, without any hesitation, we're going to jump into the frame. That's 800 pound frame. Then we're going to pick that up with no straps, just pure test of grip strength. And we're going to run that another 50 feet. Fastest man across the second line wins. My goodness. Okay, so once again, we started with 25 competitors. Um, it's been going on all week. Now it's dwindled down, like I said, to 10. What happens after today? After today, we're going to do three events, and then tomorrow, we're going to do the last three events of the final, six events total, and that's going to crown your world's strongest man. Oh, my goodness. So, guys, we're talking about people from all around the world. Obviously, your strongest men from around the world. Um, South Africa, I'm told. Yeah. Iceland. Where else? South Africa, Iceland. We have a multitude of guys from the U.K. Uh, it's pretty much all walks of life in this competition every single year. And I think it's so funny walking around Tina and Jordan. All you see is this. You just see men walking like this. What's the weight on most of you guys? Uh, anywhere from 350 to 420 pounds. I what? Like to compare like your arm to my head. Yeah, Can you how big is his arm? How big right, is how it? Big is my okay. head? Oh my God. Wow. 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 Is it right there? Yeah, almost. No, I, think like, I, I think I got you by the way. I think you have me just a little bit. Yeah. Um, what's also really cool, Ken, I'm going to have you show this. I, I I got here earlier and I go, oh my gosh, you get an ice bath. Um, what happens Whoa. with the ice bath? Like just right yeah, when you guys like, are done, you just jump in? Or yeah, we overheat recovery? a little bit. Of this. Sacramento sun's a little hot, so oh. we'll jump in there. We'll cool our body, our core body temperature down. Not to mention it's really good for inflammation in the knees, ankles, elbows, oh. everything oh. like that. That's, That's why obviously I like today it cooled down just a little bit, but, you know, we're wrapping it up here. Um, but how do you stay actually cool on a day like this? Uh, try to find absolutely any opportunity to get into air conditioning. <laughs> That's a big part of it. So cool. Pleasure to meet you. Again, former WWE uh, wrestler, but then nice. also just the chance to get to compete in the la like last year and this year. Uh, we'll see you next year, yeah? Absolutely. I'll so don't get a stomach bug next year. Yeah, I'll try not to. <laughs> all, right, all right, Tina and Jordan, again, this is happening all day in Old Sacramento. Um, and then, of cool. course, tomorrow on Father's Day. We'll make sure to put all the information on our website, gooddaysacramento.com. But July 3rd, you can watch all of this unfold on your own TV. That's Very pretty nice. cool. I want to bounce quarters off his muscles. <laughs> <laughs> put that up again. Look at that. Doing. There you go. Boing. 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 Wow.